Hello and welcome to Let's Play Ultimate Flash Sonic episode 11. Um, I am Spunky6 and this is the finale episode. Yeah, I cannot believe it, but after spending a lot of time preparing for this and actually doing it, this little project is coming to a close and uh, I think it went pretty well, actually. Um, just going to use this episode to review the game and uh, also reflect on this LP and I'm also going to announce my next one. Uh, sorry it took so long since the last episode to get this one out, but now that summer is over, um, it's a little hard to, to do this in a timely fashion, but I'll try anyway. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of messing around in the background. This episode, I'm not actually going to get anything accomplished. But um, about the game, I would give it a solid 8 Omo Chows out of 10. Um, it gets 7 points being a really good Flash Sonic game. I mean, I think it's the best Sonic representation I've ever seen in Flash. Probably one of the better fan games I've ever played. Um, and it gets .5 for having Big the Cat as a playable character. And it also gets .5 for having kind of a cool cheats mode. And I didn't show this off but it does, in fact, have a time attack mode. Um, I didn't bother doing it because it's basically the same thing, just with a timer on it. Um, let's see, the only reason I wouldn't give this, like, a 8.5 at least, or maybe a 9, is because, as I said a bunch of times, it got kind of repetitive with the characters. Uh, Big switched it up a little bit, but I don't know. That just wasn't enough to save it from an 8, but... Still pretty good. Um, let's see. Just wanted to go over what I think went well with this, what I think didn't, what I'm going to be changing in the next LP. Um, what I think went well, first of all, was the uh, the clips. I, I like that idea. Um, obviously, I used some stuff from Ego Raptor. Um, let's see. Pretty sure I used stuff from Sonic X. Um, I like doing that. The only thing I gotta watch out for is I think I probably blew out a few people's eardrums um, when a couple of those clips came on, especially the uh, WTF boom from Sonic X. I think I probably might have killed somebody with that. Um, now that I'm trying to speak up a little bit, though. Hopefully that won't be such a big deal. I'll be working on taking away the audio difference because then you can turn down your volume and still be able to hear me but also not die when uh the audio clip comes on um i think my commentary is pretty okay i'll, I'll work on that it, like i said it was kind of repetitive so it was hard to think of stuff but i think i did pretty good for first time and uh i am happy because i think i improved by the end my volume of speaking uh, i still gotta work on that a little bit but I definitely improved on the whole breathing into the mic thing because, wow, did I have a problem with that in the first episode. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you look back, all the first episode was me talking quietly like this. I'm like, you can't really hear me. And then all of a sudden I was like, <laughs> into the mic. And uh, that's not really good commentary. Um... Let's see, now that I got that out of the way, um, just going to quickly announce what my next project is going to be. I think that I am going to be doing Stick Yacht Adventure Yacht. Um, as far as I know, I searched it on YouTube and I don't think there's been an LP of that game yet, so... That might help me get some views. Um, I already got a sub. Well, actually two, but I'd like to get a little more views because I think my highest video is 30, which isn't terrible, but it's not really great. Um, I'd like to get at least 100 on a video. That'd be kind of cool. 
and I feel like doing a game that nobody else has done would be a good idea for that. Um, let's see, that is just about it for the finale episode, and I will see you on the next LP. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>